Who is next in line to get the COVID-19 vaccine? On Thursday, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz revealed more about future phases of vaccine distribution. Governor Walz says that next phase won't begin until 70% of Minnesota seniors get at least one dose. State officials expect that to happen by the end of March. As of Thursday, about 43% of people ages 65 plus in Minnesota have received at least one shot. Once the 70% figure is reached, the governor says those under 65 with specific high risk health conditions would be next. Conditions include sickle cell disease, Down syndrome, active cancer treatment, as well as chronic lung and heart functions. One group of essential workers would also be in that next phase. That would be food processing plant workers. April is the target month for this next phase to begin, and the governor says every Minnesotan should be able to get a vaccine by this summer. Residents in Brooklyn Park and Brooklyn Center now have the chance to share their opinion on the COVID-19 vaccine. As reporter Sonia Gowen shows us, the information is key to better services and programs in the future. The cities of Brooklyn Park and Brooklyn Center recently sent out a survey to find out what residents think about the COVID-19 vaccine. City leaders will use this information to educate and better serve the community. Brooklyn Center and Brooklyn Park have been greatly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, especially in African immigrant communities where a large number of residents work in the healthcare field. We do have, you know, a lot of barriers such as language barrier, technology barriers, um, and also there's a misinformation that's out there. Kumba Kanyu is president of the Sierra Leone Nurses Association, Minnesota. The group has partnered with other community-based organizations to help spread information about COVID-19 and the vaccine. It's called the Brooklyn's uh, Coalition for COVID. Um, we've been coming together, you know, doing meetings and also distributing uh, resources to our communities so they can have, you know, access to the facts. They have held meetings and workshops to help the African immigrant community navigate some of the roadblocks. Creating awareness about the COVID-19 vaccine is a key issue. There's a lot of hesitancy still in our communities. What we think is the problem is like, you know, a mistrust in the system and also a lack of knowledge, you know, about the vaccine. The vaccine is safe and it's an important tool for everyone to get. City leaders hope the survey will reveal information that will help them better connect with residents. So in the future, they'll be able to pass along accurate information and resources. Feedback is important for communication and trying to help our residents realize if we're going down the wrong road with promoting safety to the wrong group. Sonia Goins, CCX News. This week, the Wyzetta School District announced a shift in its learning model for secondary students. Wyzetta High School students will return to full in-person instruction four days a week starting on March 8th. Students will learn an asynchronous distance learning on Fridays. The district says 40% of students selected finishing the third term in distance learning and 25% have opted for distance learning in the last term. Middle school students will follow suit by going back to full in-person learning on March 15th. Middle school students will go back to school in person five days a week. Could row houses be part of the landscape in Golden Valley in the years to come? The city has been discussing that issue for some time. After a public hearing and several discussions, the Planning Commission recommended zoning changes that would allow for row houses to be built in the city. A row house is considered a row of contiguous single-family attached dwelling units joined only by shared sidewalls. Each unit must also have individual front and rear entrances. The row houses are meant to have more of an urban feel, and the code would allow for three or four unit row houses in a development. When one door closes, another opens, and that's what happened to a Plymouth fitness trainer who was let go from her job due to the pandemic. Reporter Pafu Yang takes us to Movement Studio in Plymouth. You got 20 seconds left. With every rep and drop of sweat, Lindsay West feels the burn. I have a love-hate relationship with strength. <laughs> it's a good kind of pain. I've tried a lot of different, you know, fitness instructors and group fitness classes, and she's always been my favorite. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Wes has been a member of Movement Studio in Plymouth since it launched last summer, but it didn't look anything like this. The gym's closed down. Uh, the next day I did a Facebook Live workout. 
um, with my mom in her living room. Monica Moreland was a fitness trainer for 15 years at Lifetime. The gym was hit hard by the pandemic and Moreland was let go. To keep busy, she started doing Facebook Lives. I um, was very nervous. I thought it was silly. I created a private Facebook group because I didn't want anyone to see me. That wasn't the case for long. Word of mouth spread quickly and eventually Moreland was offering free online workouts six days out of the week. Moreland's online group grew to 7,000 members and donations started flowing in so Moreland was able to use that money to open up her own studio. I never asked for a cent. People just out of their own goodwill and I know financially that was probably hard for them, started to just whatever they could. Some people would pay me $5, some people would pay me $50. The new studio has a hybrid approach with both in-person and online fitness. There's actually a plan behind it. It's not just I'm going to go to another high-intensity workout day after day after day. Um, there's science behind it. It works. So With COVID, she brought a new energy and a new experience that is just has been life changing for, for me and I know for many other members. Members say it's a place of accountability and motivation. You're not just going to show up for a workout, you're going to show up and you're going to be part of something. Something much bigger, like community and connecting with friends. In Plymouth, Pafuyang, CCX News.